230 uh, dual console. Give you an idea what it looks like with the uh, canvas on it. Of course, all the stripers have the uh, heavy duty reverse chine. Got the dual swim steps. Stainless steel prop. This has got the Yamaha 250, so this is going to be work as a ski boat there at Havasu. Trim tabs. Check this new striper. 23 foot dual console out. It's got a lot of neat features. First of all, is this uh, teak deck material here. It's like a cushion that comes out and you can have it like a, a full self bailing cockpit that it is. If you go over here to the uh, port side, it does have a fresh water wash down, raw water wash down. That's your aerators for your fish boxes. Again, your self bailing deck. Come back here. Got a beautiful uh, bait tank, real high capacity. And then if you're using a Havasu, this is your built-in, uh, one of your built-in ice chests. Put your uh, beverages in there, cutting table. And then down here are your fish boxes. These have a macerator. So if you get some debris down there, you get the switch. It's like a garbage disposal, grinds up everything. You can also use that for dry storage. You see the drain around it. This here's your macerator switch. There's a cushion that goes in here, fills in, so you have seating here. This is a fold down rear seat, and even that back comes out. And then you have another seat here. So you have one, two, three, four people in the back. And then you can have some side deck chairs if you want here. And then it's got these tremendous uh, heavy duty oversized seat for the captain and the uh, passenger. Notice the uh, trim on the windshield is all powder coated white. Really a pretty boat. Now here's the back seat. Taking out the backrest, folded it down. Taking out the two seats on the side. And so you have a ton of room here. If you want to access the swim step to gaff a fish, this flips up, tilts out of your way. And that's your direct access. You have some broad storage or short bait stick storage over here on this side. Gaffs heavy duty combing pad is a really tall deep boat so you can fight the fish or it's real safe if you have kids you've got your uh, pop-up cleats built-in trolling rod holders here all uh, diamond plate non-skin again this material comes off just like snapping carpet but it's smooth and it's got a real nice cushion to it ton of storage in this boat if we go along the deck here got those fish boxes they can be used for storage just opens up here's your batteries again it's all uh, drained and then you have another storage area up here that's your ski locker super long goes all the way up underneath the bow of the boat and again that's got scuppers here so you can use it for dry storage as well Come up to the bow here, real wide walkthrough area. You've got these seats here, you can notice have a slant on them so you can face forward. And then there's a handrail and cup holders up here. This has got all LED lighting here on your port and starboard side. You've got a cushion all the way around this boat. And then up here, it's even got a windlass, something you rarely ever see on a dual console boat but you can control it from here or from the helm pop up cleats and again these uh seats have a slant to them so you can uh, face forward and they're super deep as well cup holders you have additional storage you do have drains so again these can be used as a additional ice chest beautiful uh cushioning stereo speakers one cool thing about this boat is the window frame is powder coated white. So it gives it a real clean look, it really dresses up the windscreen and then matches the powder coating on the uh, 
tower as well. You can get it with or without this hard top. This has also got the super bright LED forward spotlight for docking. You do have rod holders built in. This is a laminated top, so if you want to put a little spotting tower or something like that, you could do that as uh, well. Again, a lot of room. I showed you the pictures earlier with the canvas, but the space here is just incredible fishing space, or you know, it's almost like a giant deck boat as far as the space goes. Here's your helm and passenger seat. They have flip up bolsters so you can stand at the helm, fully adjustable as well. Port console opens up and it's super deep. You've got a uh, porta potty sink, very, very high. Someone that's over six feet can definitely fit in there without a uh, problem whatsoever. Little sink, storage area, very, very uh, large. And the cool thing about this closes, it's got a little notch here that goes around the seat, so it's got a lot of contours to it. It's even got a place down below where uh, you can put your feet and then a little uh, glove box here for your important paperwork. LED lights here light up the deck, storage and cup holders. This is the helm area. You have all fully marked uh, switches. These illuminate at night. And it's got the 250 Yamaha. It has the uh, trim tabs. This is a little USB slot for charging your phone. Got a high-end Rockford Fosgate stereo system with Pandora. This up here is your switch for your uh, anchor windlass. Full Yamaha digital speed gauges including a flow meter so you can get the range of your engine compass and then very large console here this opens up and it's kind of a function it'll it'll close off the bow as a wind block this door right here so it's got a multi pump function feature and then a tremendous amount of storage and again this is very very deep it goes all the way down probably someone five feet tall can actually stand upright these are all your filler cushions the bow converts to a complete uh, cushion area up there and this closes here I'm looking up taking another look up towards the bow fuel fill it's over on the starboard side up there our top it's got the LED deck light and we also have rocket launchers here coming off the uh, port and starboard side. If you really wanted to put additional ones, they have an option to have a rod bar, but we have it done locally. This also has a complete canvas enclosure, so it encloses this entire hardtop. So if you're coming back, you know, even if you're up at uh, the lake in the afternoon, the wind comes up, you put that on, and it's like uh, sitting in your living room. Boat House of Anaheim, come down and take a look at this beauty. Nice thing about this boat, it has a deep V hull. So it's really going to take the waves nice in a big lake. You're at Mojave, Havasu. This is your uh, anchor locker drain right here, stainless steel rub strip. It's got lifting strikes, so it has a low plane speed. But again, like all the boats, reverse chine, the stripers, still got the deep sea hull. Comes up the side here, hits this chine, gets deflected down away from this edge of the boat. That's what's going to give you a dry ride. It's 50 plus mile an hour boat. Again, in the afternoon, if you're at Mojave or Havasu, the wind kicks up. You're going to still have a great ride, you know, on, on the way home. Check it out. A lot more photos and information on our website, Boathouse of Anaheim, boathouseofanaheim.com. Lots of new and used boats here. Come on down, check them out.